free time. Why does the BBC show us the middle finger and who dances the lambada before the holidays? All these questions and more are answered by the social media service in the third episode. I am infinitely pleased that you tuned in. Facebook and Instagram owner Meta, or simply owner Zach, finally launched the former Twitter's current ex-competitor Threads for European Union countries this month. Threads, streams, or even garments, I don't know what the best word match is for this social network. Anyway, it started in early July. However, due to the enforcement of the EU Digital Services Act in August, requesting strict data collection procedures, the launch of Threads in the European Union was postponed. Summer kicked off the platform with record-breaking registrations in the first days, but not even a month later, Thread's active user base decreased by a staggering 82%. Therefore, it is believed that its introduction to the European market could give it a second wind. Of course, it's important to mention that since then, Threads have significantly improved. A browser version was created, a search function was introduced, and the integration of Instagram accounts was further streamlined. I'll say it this way, I don't have a horse in this race. I don't like either the humanoid lizard or the Kremlin bot, and as for threads, if I had to guess, I would say that eventually, it will be one of the many projects that seemed promising for a while but ultimately closed. But I also don't believe that Twitter all the time will be controlled by a guy who's sucking Deacon for Putin and suggesting the same to Ukrainians until the end of time. Now that I've been actively using threads for almost a week, we'll see how long it lasts. On December 6th, BBC News anchor Marisha Mashiri stepped into the news broadcast, just like that. Live from London, this is BBC. The still frame instantly spread across all social networks and naturally turned into a meme, but not entirely. Not all BBC viewers took the episode with lighthearted humor. Very unprofessional. Not nice to communicate with colleagues like that. Poor taste. And similar observations from other internet users did reach Marija, and on December 7th, she apologized. Hello everyone. Yesterday, just before the broadcast, I joked around with colleagues. Together with the broadcast director, we counted from 10 to 0, and I did it with my fingers. When we reached one, I playfully spun my finger, unaware that the frame would be on air. It was an inside joke with the team, and I deeply regret that you had to see it. I had no intention of offending or hurting anyone, and I apologize if I upset or offended anyone. It was an innocent joke meet for a small group of my friends, and a week later, the full studio recording was released, confirming Maria's account. Live from London, this is BBC News. Indeed, Mashiri returned to the air on the third day after this mishap, and the social media praises that followed it. So, everything is more or less fine, and some commentators just need to loosen up a bit and be a little simpler. Do you want to see a lambada? I will show you a lambada. You want to see the lambada? I'll show you the lambada. the lambada I'll show you the lambada you want to see the lambada I'll show you the lambada you want to see the lambada I'll show you the lambada. You want to see the lambada? I'll show you the lambada. of four-legged, mostly puppy content emerged in November, nowhere else but on the TikTok platform, and is still popular this month. The Lambada Challenge today will serve as our main animal report, but it won't be the only report about animals. Two cats are talking. No, this is not the beginning of another shitty anecdote. That's the name of one of the most popular memes in December, which was particularly relevant among meme enthusiasts. The last time it created so many template-based publications, 
these nonsense creations bothered me. But let's start from the beginning. There are two completely unrelated videos with two cats who have never met in the same room. Both clips have been reposted on the internet so many times that I probably would have solved Cicada 3301 puzzles faster than finding the original video. However, the oldest recording of the cat on the left that I managed to find still appears January on social media, and copies of the cat on the right recording can be found even in publications from 2022. Somehow, someone decided to put these two four-legged beauties in one discussion and frame them on a green background. <laughs> The meme is so fresh that it hasn't had the chance to appear on the radars of popular internet culture reviewers and archivists yet. One of the most iconic musicians of all time, and generally one of the most popular figures in the entertainment industry worldwide, Drake on his free time started streaming. I want to make sure everybody can hear me first. Everybody can hear me first? Yeah. There we go. During the broadcast on December 18th, one of Drake's viewers tipped him 20 cents, and it didn't go unnoticed. Thank you for the 20 cent tip, Fardeeds. Appreciate that. That'll go. Go to a good cause. The situation was covered by numerous news portals writing about the incident. We like to see support for starting streamers. Of course, right after that, in his own style, Drake reaches out to the kick streaming platform, urging them to present him with a billion dollar worth partner contract. I learned how to work the stream by myself. Aren't you guys impressed? Kick, sign me. I'm available. Billion dollars. I'm yours. In short, many iconic moments, but I absolutely do not recommend watching Drake's streams because during them, the multimillionaire simply plays in an online casino. As expected, on December 5th, the computer game developer and publisher Rockstar Games released the first official announcement for GTA 6. So, this is the main report for today. Let's start by stating the obvious. Within the first 24 hours, the announcement on the YouTube platform was viewed a staggering 93 million times, surpassing, as if not a music video, the previously held record of this year's much discussed Mr. Beast episode about global gaming from the top spot. Behind me is one person from every country on earth. We're gonna see which country's the best. 59.5 million views. That was the landmark of the recent record. Now the entire internet is filled with the most detailed analyses of the announcement, complete with all the subtle references to movies, computer games, real life events, and other moments of popular culture. But today, I would like to focus on, surprise, surprise, social media. In the 90 second video, there are even eight short episodes playfully mocking posts from a certain social media app. But let's delve into where they drew inspiration. The first one shared on the fictional Dead Bud Squad account doesn't refer to any specific event, but a guy having a fun time on a yacht with young girls, hilariously reminiscent of Amazon founder and one of the richest people on the planet. Jeff Bezos. Despite his respectable age, he demonstrates a pretty good physical shape, and personally, I don't think he can be classified as part of the Dead Bud Squad. Immediately after him comes the alligator extraction from the pool in the account Official Pouch, or the Organization for Animal Protection and Controlled Hunting. The announcement reveals that a significant part of the game map and overall gameplay is heavily inspired by Florida and the often occurring, let's call them circus. And precisely in this state, visits of these giant reptiles in residential areas are practically a daily occurrence. But visually and aesthetically, 
A similar event could possibly be this news report about a nearly three meter four legged alligator pulled from a pool in Palm Beach Gardens in April 2019. They woke up to find a nine foot gator in their swimming pool. Well, seconds later, they were on the phone with Florida wildlife officials. The trapper came out and it took him about 20 minutes to remove the reptile. After our future luxurious handbag in the GTA 6 announcement, we see a separate sinful day and a woman twerking on moving cars roof. This simple scene perfectly represents the spring break of March 2017 in Miami, Florida. Then for a second, even the functionality of live video broadcasts is demonstrated. No specific event is likely depicted here, but we see user comments and likes on the platform, creating intrigue about the role social media will play in the latest GTA 6 game. Social networks persist. The next one is an account called Planet Leonidaman, and this name encodes two important things. In the game's universe, the equivalent of Florida will probably be called the Leonidos State. And just like in the real world, where we have the Florida Man meme, or even the entire phenomenon, GTA players will also have the Leonidos Man. And the video post where an officer at the gas station catches some naked dude is inspired, oddly enough, by a similar incident in Canada. In October 2022, they recorded similar captures. He is running naked. Holy! Oh my god! Only in Leonidos, grabbing between the legs is considered an apology for poor driving. Another video, this time on the General Custard Cannon profile, emphasizes the fixed absurdity of Florida and possibly refers to this interesting traffic interaction that took place in Maryland in August 2017. Jammer shares a clip of a guy clinging to the door of a moving car, which strongly resembles a 12-year-old truck surfing video. I get in front of the dash, no. <laughs> Not in vain is the headline, rest in peace, we'll see you in paradise, brother. The last GTA 6 announcement report is my favorite. A live video broadcast in the Lucho Libre fans account featuring a woman with two hammers. We head to the outskirts of Chatsworth in Los Angeles, and we flip the calendar to June 13th, 2020. And I got you on, on video that you're destroying my car. Thank you. Get the fuck out of this neighborhood, you fucking shit. Yep. Cool. A classic reference. Well, as a bonus, let's discuss the portrait of this handsome young man. Although in the context of a computer game announcement, this is a news report and not a social media post, this character is almost a spitting image of Lorenzo Sullivan, a sadly infamous resident of Florida. In May 2017, the face-tattooed enthusiast known as the Florida Joker was convicted for carrying a concealed weapon, and he received his sentence in court next to an almost identical giant sheriff's badge. Next one is, uh, this is Lawrence Sullivan. Pardon me? Oh, this is Mr. Sullivan? All right, good morning, Mr. Sullivan. You charge one count of ca carrying a uh, concealed firearm. On the release day of the GTA 6 announcement, Lorenzo seemed to proudly flaunt this connection. It's your boy, Joker Gang 305, Raw Sequel Live. Florida Joker, Mammy Joker. You might have seen that character on GTA 6 just dropped the trailer today. You know they got that character with the face tattoos. You know who they got that expired by? By me. Just look me up. Florida Joker, Mammy Joker. You know what I'm talking about. But after a few days, it seems like he already needs some compensation. It's your boy, Joker Gang, Joker Gang 305, Raw Sequel Live. For everybody saying that I'm hallucinating, that I'm not the Joker from GTA 6. Chill out your goddamn nuggets. That's me. That's the person that got the inspiration from. You see that? That? That's me. That's me. That's me. GTA, we, we gotta talk, GTA. We gotta talk. Or not, you gotta give me like a mil. Social networks in the GTA universe are certainly not a novelty. 
In the fifth iteration of the game, we not only had parodies of Facebook and Twitter, namely Life Invader and Bleeder platforms, but also a halfly functioning Instagram replica called Snapmatic. So it will be very interesting to see how such digital spaces, which are no longer separate from public discourse in today's times, will be expanded and incorporated into another intriguing criminal underworld in the game. And hey, it looks like we won't have to wait for another decade. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be the first to know when we release new videos. And if you want to stay updated with all our latest content, follow us on social media and visit our website linked in the description. We appreciate your support and the time you've spent with us today. As always, stay tuned for more. And until next time.